There is a huge battle going on between Gundabad and, well, the forces of whoever, I'm actually unsure, I think it is Mukwood and Dale. Hello reformers and welcome back to the last days and our elf playthrough. Now, when we left off, we were actually off to a pretty good start. We have some nice units in our army right now. We have some uh, pretty high tier ones, not too high tier, but enough to, you know, get us through the early game. I've got to say that personally, I feel like this is so much easier than the evil side. I have not had any problems in winning battles. On the evil side, I had a huge amount of difficulty. There were many, many setbacks, mainly due to the arrogant elves. Of course, I probably shouldn't call them arrogant anymore, should I? I have to say, it's actually becoming extremely difficult to find enemies to fight because it seems like all of the patrols in the area are just so effective at what they do that it's very very difficult for me to actually get any kills whatsoever and uh, let alone coming into the battle and getting kills because let's face it all my people are actually really good at what they do and it's kind of difficult to even get three enemies dead by my bow and uh, well after this, after this battle is done, I'm going to be making my way back to King Thranduil and we'll see what he has to say for himself because obviously Gandalf did tell us that it would be a good idea for me to head back there. Alright, so we have arrived in King Thranduil's throne room and I'm going to be speaking to him. Ah, Bertildin, it is good you have come. War is at our doorstep and we need soldiers and captains alike to fulfill their oaths. We are at war with the orcs of Gundabad and the warriors of Rune, but we have to gather our strength and weaken the enemy before we can hope to move against their strong points and fortresses. Each defeat of our enemies will bring us closer to victory and strengthen our resolve. So I trust you to fight our enemy at every opportunity, be it a mere scout party or a war host. Yet do not rush into battle alone. You must fight alongside our brave captains and our allies also. And this is just the war tutorial. Nothing to worry about too much here. However, if we lose our capital, we are then defeated. So we do need to be a little bit careful about that. And we also gain strength from victories in the field and from holding certain key settlements. Some quests or events can affect faction strength as well. All right, so I am <laughs> sending a letter to King Brand. Are you serious? It's wartime, King Thranduil. I don't know. Well, I guess you probably would want to uh, want to do that. Anyway, uh, rescuing prisoners. I think I can actually do this pretty easily, actually, because it seems like elven prisoners and prisoners in general like from dwarves and men and so on and so forth are pretty easy to rescue so ah yes this guy also has still given me a task well here's the king i'm gonna bring a message to him there we go 16 rank points i guess every little helps ah you know what i almost forgot to actually hand in this task with king brand and i have dispatched the scouts that's 76 rank points we're now a close friend with dale which is kind of weird anyway let's uh, see if we can gather something here wow this is actually kind of amazing all right i guess i'll get a cooking cauldron and we'll get garlic i have no idea what any of this stuff does but all of it's usually really good all right so we have garlic here which gives me plus one to wound treatment and we also have a map of middle earth which gives us plus one to pathfinding that's actually pretty good although my pathfinding isn't the main reason why i'm actually you know moving fast because luvana is the one that's actually doing that after this battle with these tribal orcs, you know what I'm going to be doing? Oh yeah, I'm going to be heading over to Gundabad and we're going to try and see whether I can actually tackle one of their supply trains. We're going to try to be pretty active in sabotaging enemy supply lines as much as we can because I didn't really do that too much with our Uruk character because I just didn't have the confidence to be able to do so. But I think... With the elves? <laughs> this arrogance is rubbing off on me, isn't it? Alright, so I finally found one. I didn't really know whether I'd be able to do it, but we're gonna do our very best. I basically just ran around the outside of their perimeter and just tried my hardest to try and find something that was relatively within our range, basically, to, you know, try to, try to kill them. And uh, I don't know whether this is gonna work. I think it might work. But I think we could also be at a really, really bad position right here. Because bear in mind, you know, we're outnumbered. We're outnumbered considerably. But as the AI is a little bit weird, 
they are <laughs> just charging their cavalry at us. This is not going to be good for them. Amusingly enough, though, I think I might actually have to... Oh, dear. Well, this might be more difficult than I anticipated. Well, let's see. I don't know whether it's going to work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It seems like we're able to take them off their mounts pretty easily. There's a nice kill right there. Maybe I'll be able to get a couple more. It's definitely a lot easier to get kills when they're not moving from side to side. Strafing is my enemy, apparently. And, uh, yes. Hopefully... Oh, there we go. I, I only have 16 arrows remaining. This is awful. Let me pick up these arrows. Give me, give me more of these arrows, please. Even though these arrows are awful. Or I would assume they're probably going to be kind of bad. Because they are orc arrows. So guess I just have to do my best in picking them up. Okay, can you can you die, please? Yes, there we go. Your mount is down, and then maybe... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so how are we doing in terms of arrows? It seems like we're okay. Most of our forces still have arrows remaining, and I assume, considering we just eliminated 10, yep, there's 31 still left. I don't know how we're going to do this. Maybe we should just move our forces a little bit more. That's... You know what? That's really a bad idea. Let's just place them there. And let's just shoot as much as we can into the enemy. Wow, there's there's way too many. There is way too many right here. I should not have come closer. This is a bad idea. Nice headshot. Nice headshot. Yeah, give me that level 9. Thank you very much. Uh, these berserkers really know what they're doing as well. They have thrown weapons. And their thrown weapons are able to deal some pretty decent damage to us. Bear that in mind. I'm actually... Whoa, okay. Okay, well, uh, guys, guys, just charge, just charge, guys, come on now, don't hold position when they're in our archery line, come on, you know how to fight, ah, uh, oh well, never mind, thankfully, even though I have been taken out, our forces are good enough to be able to win the day here, and, uh, well, what are we gonna get for this, hopefully a huge amount of loot, yes, a huge amount of loot it is, tools, Metal scraps, which I need for actu for a quest, actually, which is going to be very nice. And we also have some rations here and various other things. I'm not going to take the low-level stuff because I don't need to. All right, so we're back at the Mirkwood Elder, and I'm going to be giving him the better quality metal. There's 3,500 resource points. This is a fantastic quest to do early on, if you can, because it's just going to enable you to recruit so many units. I actually have 39 available in my company right now, so I'm going to recruit all of these guys. And then we're going to just level up as many as we can get our hands on. I'm going to actually go over into the smithy here because I'd like to buy a bow. Maybe not a bow that... Uh, yeah, this is a pretty awful bow. The elven bow is pretty good. I mean, this bow right now has cutting damage, which I'm not a big fan of. So I think I'm probably going to spend that money. Uh, should I, though? Because I'm probably going to get one from influence points, aren't I? I probably am going to get one. So maybe I'm just going to buy a bow here. Buy some simple arrows. I'm actually using bent wood elf arrows at the moment. That's kind of awful, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I guess I can't really do much more than just add a couple on here, I guess. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I'd like to get a helm as well, but these are all extremely expensive, so it's probably not going to happen anytime. And we might just get one from the influence points, as I said. Right, so now that we have this bow, I'm actually going to be using this bow myself, and we're going to give this bow to Fa- oh, oh, really? I'm going to need to give her a melee weapon of some kind. Right, so I went into the smithy, bought a balanced large wooden club for about 90-something resource points, and uh, I still have these tools to sell as well, so I should probably do that. Well, we have a fantastic absolutely fantastic opportunity here and I am half tempted to equip these simple arrows literally replacing my melee weapon right here because I have a feeling I am going to need it so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna help out in this battle right here even though I'd love to be able to kill those tribal orcs right now are they tribal orcs yeah I'd love to be able to kill those tribal orcs however this is a little bit more pressing. There is a huge battle going on between Gundabad and, well, the forces of whoever, I'm actually unsure. I think it is Mirkwood and Dale. I think they are actually helping each other here. And, uh, yes, I'm going to move in and try to help. Oh, it might be Beorning, actually. It might be Beorning. Hmm, yes, I think so. Anyway. We have 554 against the enemy's 394. I feel like we should be fine here. 
Amusingly enough, we have a battle advantage of minus four? Really? I'm actually kind of surprised about that. This is a very small battlefield. Oh my. Okay. Let's do this. Let's just start firing away here. I'm going to do quite a bit of damage. Bear that in mind, because I do have that new bow. I have a lot of power draw skills, so I'm hopeful that I'll be able to tackle one of these trolls. I'd like to be able to kill that troll over there, if at all possible, because it's going to give me a huge amount of wonderful, wonderful experience. And uh, I'm kind of a bit annoyed at these guys running into us right now. Oh, no. This is bad. Okay, hit a friendly troop. That's great. Okay. Well, let's continue focusing on those trolls. I feel like the trolls are definitely going to be the main problem here. If we get ourselves killed, it's going to be by those trolls, I assume. Because most of the enemies, well, shall we say, most of our allies are not really focusing them down that much. And the cave trolls are so, so powerful. I'd like to be able to focus them down a little bit more. Can I please kill one? Yes, there we go, there we go. Okay, so we got a kill, that's nice. We got another kill. Wow, those trolls are giving us so much experience. We literally just leveled up twice. Well, I died. I died. Well, uh, mm, that, that's not really anything I can do much about because that berserker really had my number there, didn't he? He certainly did. I'm actually going to retreat, to be honest. I don't think I really want to lose all of my units for the sake of getting rank points here. And uh, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you know, it's probably worth it for us to do this. But just look at my army right now. I don't exactly know whether I'm even... Uh, maybe I am capable of doing it? Uh, I don't really know. On the one hand, I think yes, that might be a fantastic idea. But I'm at very low HP right now. Mm, I don't know. But what I am going to do is just level up my strength even further. Let's get another point of power draw. I, I think I'm actually going to level up my Iron Flesh now as well. Because if I'm unable to use a mount, then my mounted archery skill is going to be absolutely useless. So I think I'm actually just going to level up my Iron Flesh because we are at 67 HP right now, which is pretty good. You know, it's not too bad. And uh, I should probably level up my one-handed, even though I'm probably not going to be using a one-handed. I am probably going to be using mainly a bow and huge amounts of arrows. So I guess, hmm, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to wait here a little bit and I'm going to try and rejuvenate. Oh no, they're running away. Oh, that, oh, that's, uh, are they? Yeah, they are running away. That's terrible. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh, oh no, no. We're going into it. Oh, okay. They're, they're running around weirdly. That is kind of funny. Okay. So we're at 23% HP. I guess that's good enough. Let's go in and uh, see what we can do about helping them out. Now we are helping Miriel's host, which is fantastic, because we're, if we're able to help her, we're going to get so many rank points with Mirkwood. All right, it is time for us to go in and help out Miriel's host. I say that like we have a huge impact on the battlefield, but I really don't, you know, I'm kind of, I'm just, an, I'm just a noob, you know, I'm just a, a newbie little elf running around, Delivering presents with Santa, you know. Oh, oh, uh, that's actually the wrong elf. Never mind. <laughs> uh, bad joke. Yes, extremely bad joke. Anyway, let's see what I can actually do here. Oh my. Whoa, that was harsh. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yes, take that. Take that, villainous scum. Ah, uh, they have a huge amount of cave trolls. They have so many cave trolls, don't they? They really do. These Gunderbed guys really are not messing about. They certainly are not. And I'm a bit worried, actually. You know what? I'm actually just going to run. I'm just going to run all the way back. No, no, no. Ah, uh, no, no. Okay. If you could just... Thank you. If you could just die, that would be great. Can I... Uh, I can mount this? Yeah, okay. Bitten by your own warg mount. Ah, uh, yeah, that happens. Okay, I'm actually just going to do a little bit of damage to this warg. Because I'm a bit worried about it actually... What? Where did it go? It faded. It faded into the into the twilight zone or something. All right. Well, anyway, uh, thankfully, I was able to survive that, and uh, thankfully the warg did not kill me. And there's a huge amount of trolls coming. Oh no, that is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, come on, die, 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 die. Uh, yeah, there we go, and die that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Wow, that was a that was a twitch shot if ever I saw it. That's the first one and only one that you're going to see on this channel ever. So you should cherish it. Otherwise, <laughs> I think we're pretty good here. This warg is after me. Take this. Take that. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got that troll's dead. Maybe I can help out with that one a little bit. 
Yeah, there we go. Nice. That was a good kill right there. Good. Okay, let's continue. Let us continue getting some kills. And I think we actually have this in the bag. I think we might have this. I mean, obviously, the elves generally are quite powerful when it comes to archery and everything, and trolls are generally quite weak when it comes to defending against archery. If they had shields, then this would be game over, you know, but they don't, obviously, so... Yeah, anyway, let's see if I can continue to do... Oh, yeah, no, that was a headshot? That was a headshot on one of those cave trolls. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let's continue. Continue getting some kills here. Maybe I'll be able to maybe get a couple of cavalry... Ca no, these cavalry really are not... Never mind. I saw that guy coming over from the left side, and I thought to myself... He's gonna kill me. And I and he did. He did. Yeah, that, that was great. Oh, well, never mind. I did use quite a few of my arrows. It would have been nice to use all of them, of course. But that's just how it goes. I would like to stick around until the end of this battle. I don't exactly know whether it's going to be working. But I would very much like to because that means that we will gain a huge rank point bonus. Or at least I hope that that's the case. It might not be the case because we're not really helping out as much as we would be if we were the stronger party. But it might be an idea just to stick around because otherwise we're not going to get anything with the exception of those levels that I just gained. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe... I think, I think we're going to win. I think it is just a case of us outlasting them as much as possible because obviously the forces of Mordor are, are generally going to be much, much more shall we say, prone to Zerg mentality. So obviously they are going to run around in big death balls and try to deal so much damage um, with huge amounts of units. But as it stands, each one of those units can probably be killed extremely easily. And so that's exactly what the hope that we have here. Hopefully these Dale, Dale units will be able to prevail here. Dale, prevail. You get it? <laughs> What's going on with this episode? There seems to be all kinds of weird stuff going on. You know, Twitch headshots. Well, not that, that, I don't think that was a headshot. But anyway, Twitch shots and uh, various other random stuff. And uh, it's kind of cool that we're fighting in this forest, isn't it? I kind of like fighting in this forest, as I've stated before. It's pretty much in keeping with who we are, isn't it? And uh, I think that's actually it. Yeah, there's only 22 enemies remaining, and I think we're done. H uh, amusingly enough, though, it seems like all of our units were eliminated, or the units that were actually available for battle, which is not great. I actually did not want our units to suffer any casualties here. I spent actually quite a bit of time leveling those guys up, and uh, I think I lost quite a few of them, but I think it should be okay. I hope... Here's my estimate here. I'm hoping that I will gain at least... I'd, I'd hope a hundred rank points. I don't think that's gonna happen. Because, as I said, we're not helping a lord or a lady that has a very, very small amount of units. We're not doing that. We're joining a very large battle, and as a result, I think I'm probably going to get 20, if that. I might not even get that. So let's see how much we're going to get. It's going to be pretty interesting. What? Ah, uh, looks upset. She routed? She routed? Are you serious? Oh, she uh, she suffered a serious wound. Uh, okay, well, anyway, how much did I get? None? I got some relation points. And they're all escaping. Well, of course they do. Ah, uh, are you serious right now? That was it? I have... I have no idea what to say. I have really no idea what to say. Okay, well, never mind. I guess what I can do now, at least, is level her up a little bit and get her some additional surgery. And we will level up her archery now. She has one point in power draw, so she will be able to use this bent bow. We're going to give her one of those, and I'll give her my, the simple arrows that I was using, and I'll use my melee weapon again, just in case. And we're going to just level up a couple of our forces here. Wow, this is... That didn't really go too well. I only have 17 units remaining. That's really kind of awful, isn't it? Okay, well, let's go into the barracks here and see what they have for us. They do have a couple. I'm aiming to go for mainly archers here. Uh, what do you have? Oh, escort a supply train to... Oh, no, I don't really want to... Okay, fine, let's do it. 
I didn't really want to do that, but we're going to do it. We're going to go all the way over there. I must object to sacrifice so many of our soldiers is harsh. Oh, okay, yes. Can I can I disable the companion complaints? I think I can do that in the camp menu, actually. Anyway, that will be it for this episode, as Mount Gundabad is diminished. What a fantastic blow to deal to them so early on as well. And, uh, yeah, as a result of that, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.